even for myself, I, like I worked in the medical industry, right? Yeah, you And it is, it is hard to, you know, uh, get anybody to talk about this sort of stuff, right? Like, yeah. you know, they think that I'm talking about, like, you know, some, you know, like bong hitting contest, you know, at work when I'm talking about <laughs> actual medicine here. And it's like, okay, oh. like, you know, I'm, I'm sure for someone with depression or anxiety issues, maybe a bong hitting contest is what they need, or maybe even well, anger issues. But, you know, it's good to know that there's there are groups out there that are, you know, openly advocating that. It's been scientifically that. proven that cannabis helps with depression, by the way. You mm -hmm. don't need, all you need from a doctor is, your, is a confirmation of the diagnosis that you have it. You can get a uh, mm -hmm. green card for that. So, I mean, any uh, in my mind, any any conditions that the dispensary has a list of where you, all you need is a, uh, pres all you need is a medical doctor's signature is in my mind, uh, it's in my mind pretty much the same as uh, reading uh, a list of conditions from a academic reputable textbook. Mm -hmm. in, uh, I mean, that's what I think. Well, it's at least nice to have something to back it up, right? Yeah, and I'm glad that the science and the technology is there now to you know, actually you know, uh, back the, these claims that have been coming in you know, since easily yeah. the 70s. Right, and, and even pre-prohibition, we knew a lot of this uh, this knowledge that's just been hidden from us. Well, there's a well. I mean, there's many. There's there's a lot of different theories for that, and uh, not everybody. Uh, theories are theories, and that's fine. But at least when it comes to the medical aspect, though, like um, okay, for for your schizophrenia, okay, like okay. if we're just going to talk schizophrenia here, um, how has cannabis helped with that? I think, like, what were some of some things that you were suffering from before? And I had delusions, uh, believing that people are out to hurt me or harm me or don't like me or whatever. Um, I don't really want to get into the delusion itself because this is that, that, probably that, that, that's get fine. Oh, yeah. But um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't um, like I well. There's some researchers, academic papers, go to Google Scholar, type in CBD, schizophrenia treatment, mm -hmm. and search through that, and you can find tons and tons of uh, research papers done by, uh, by, uh, by these universities, which have concluded that CBD is, is, is equally as effective, or if not even more effective, than um, atypical antipsychotics, and that's from Wikipedia. I mean, I know Wikipedia is a... Uh, is a, it's an open source, but I mean, still, I mean, there's tons of research that shows that schizophrenia is helped by CBD. And now, how it's helped me affect, how it's helped me personally is that it, uh, um, the delusions that I have around certain around certain things about the, the world and stuff, like uh, let me think one that I'm willing to say in front of the world. Um, Well, you don't have to go into specifics if you don't feel like it. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, just even uh, things like uh, uh, anxiety levels. Yeah, anxiety, uh, has, has general it, has anxiety around people. Okay, here's one. Um, you're, well, you're mentioning social cues. Like, what are some of the things that you've picked up now that, you know, were something well, that you did Well, eye contact is a big, is big when okay. it comes to, uh, I mean... Uh, I'm not, I mean, some might argue that I might be just saying this because I've been taught this by a behavioral therapist when I was a kid, but I'm not. I, I actually notice people eye contact, and I notice what people are looking at, and that can signify whether people are interested or not. Also, if you say something and two other people are talking, they continue talking, they just ignore what you said because you're still having a conversation with this other person. Mm -hmm. That's nothing to do with how bad you are, which kind of goes to the same delusion of people people don't like me or whatever, but, um, um... Well, that's actually really, really impressive. You know, like, I, I didn't realize that, you know, uh, eye, t eye contact even was an issue, right? Um, like I, I learned that with autism, like it, it is rare for someone to make eye contact for a significant amount of time. Oh, but, I do. Um, I, I never realized, you know, just how much of an effect it had on a person, right? As well as, um, so I guess now you're able to recognize, like, say, if if two people are talking that 
you know, you're going to wait for the appropriate time to, to interrupt yeah, them? I, I tried to thing? do that. I mean, I still fuck up. Well, well, but at least you're recognizing yeah. it, though, right? Okay, yeah. well, so then it's just practice. Then. It's, it like is, with, it's, it's like with any skill then, right? Like, you're yeah. not going to have it, like, down pat right away, but, you know, at least yeah. you recognize better now, I guess, because you're saying, like, social cues, like, that's big for a lot of people even, you know, like the average person that would just be considered rude, right? So yeah. at least you're able to, you know, recognize oh, the better. when... Oh, better. But the thing is, though, is that you're not rude now, right? No, or you, I, not, guess you, I, guess, I guess you never were, right? Because you just didn't uh, realize it, but realize, at least yeah. you have it better than these people that just yeah. don't care, right? And they're just oh, going to be rude, oh, so, you know, yeah. that's, that's yeah, there's, cool. there's a difference, there's a difference, and... Uh, I'm pretty sure in the stoner community they'll understand, but I mean in other communities like the suppliers and I mean drug dealers probably don't understand. I mean, drug dealers are the worst kind of people you can. Yeah. You gotta have, you gotta think of the audience. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, it's, it's actually nice too that even uh, for someone such as yourself, right? Like, I I don't know how I guess. Uh, susceptible you are to peer pressure, right? Like, Oh, you can uh, be very... Su I, I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, like, in the face of being uh, open to things like crack and, and harder uh, substances oh. that you've been able to, you know, just recognize that's not worth trying. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I know that you've asked me about uh, other things, like, uh, say, like, uh, acid and, and magic mushrooms, <laughs> but I can understand why you would be uh, asking me. You know, it's interesting that uh, uh, things like magic mushrooms and psilocybin, like the active ingredient uh, within magic mushrooms, they've been used for millennia by shamans and uh, spiritual guides, and now they're understanding why it's actually been effective, mm, right? That's good. Like, uh, I, can, well, I, mean, I can show you photos that I've taken of uh, psilocybin pills, right, uh, and uh, LSD bottles for clinical trials, and wow. it's pretty interesting to learn some of the stories behind this, well, but I therapeutic mean, usage. I mean, I was brainwashed about marijuana, I was scared of it when I was a kid, and I'm kind of afraid of LSD, but you know what, after I, 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 I can understand why, and at least you have a respect for it, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd recommend it to you, but... No, I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not, we're, not, we're not promoting LSD as a treatment for schizophrenia. No, so anybody no. gets the idea, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say... Don't do acid to, to treat your schizophrenia, okay? No. It's not a good idea. No, because as it is, you're already having issues with your pineal gland over-functioning. So, to purposefully put it in that state, yeah, definitely no, not a wise no, idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've thought about doing acid in stressful circumstances. Yeah. But, I'm, I'm not thinking straight when I'm doing that, that though, so. But that's a whole other topic. Well, no, no, the, like, thank goodness that you're able to recognize that, and it's yeah. Im it, it really is impressive that, you know, you've been able to, you know, dodge the perils of, of someone trying to offer you something, you know, more yeah. than that, so. Okay. No, that, that, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um... I guess your your cannabis therapy as you're doing it, are you continuously noticing more and more results or all the or time, all the time. So I mean, it's just increasing weekend, all the different things that are just changing. Just this weekend, I felt like I took a huge stride in this direction. I mean, I mean, I will I will have to say right now um, because uh, in case anybody thinks that it's good, I will have to put some weight to a guy named uh, Dr. Sylvester, who I saw recently, um, who uh, had me, had these, uh, these uh, special insoles that you have that he puts in your feet, which stimulates part of your brain, and I felt better after that, but uh, I do have to give credit, but very recently, well, I've, I've wanted to put those insoles in, it's recently, it's October 1st, but very recently, I feel like I'm totally normal now. I'm, sometimes I think that I don't need drugs anymore, because I'm all, my mind's all better, but at ever, but I mean, I don't, but I can tell you that marijuana is definitely, when I'm, mm -hmm. when I smoke, I feel way more in it, like, I, like, I feel like I'm in a real world. Well, and it's good to hear, though, that you can use other natural therapies that, yeah. you know, are, are helping, too, because, let's face it, you know, like, uh, cannabinoids are something that's naturally created by the body anyways, right? So yeah. basically all you're doing is supplementing what your body should already be making. Yeah. So who 